Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how to make a easy but very festive and professional looking five star piñata, Mexican style, and I've managed to get all of my supplies for $8 at the dollar store. I'm going to show you guys everything that you need to do, step by step how to do it. It's going to be beautiful. Items that you will need for the Mexican piñata include scissors, masking tape, white craft glue, assorted colors of tissue paper, a star-shaped or round-shaped balloon, five colored birthday party hats, one cup of flour, one and a half cups of water, and a mixing bowl, a paintbrush, and some string. First thing we're gonna do is blow up our balloon, and I've got a balloon pump to do so. And there we go, we got our star balloon blowing up. Now we're gonna take one of our party hats, got the red one here, and we're just gonna simply place it over the tip of the star. And then we're gonna take a piece of masking tape and just right at the edge of the party hat because we don't wanna to cover too much of the color. So now we have the framework of our pinata with the birthday hats attached to the balloon. And now it's time uh, for the messy stuff, the paper mache. To make our paper mache mixture, we're going to need one cup of white flour and then one and a half cups of water. And then we're just going to whisk that all in. You're gonna need a pile of newspaper and you're gonna cut it into strips. So strips that are two inches in width. And now it's the messy part. We're going to coat each piece of paper in the mixture and you can just dip it right in there, swirl it around and then what you want to do is bring up your piece of newspaper and take two fingers and just gently rub it off. Don't pinch it too tight because you do want a nice coating so it looks something like that. And then I'm going to start in the center and start wherever you want. That's where I'm going to start and just start laying it all down on the balloon. Then you overlap each edge just a little bit. We're doing three to four layers of the paper mache. And to work around the cone, you can just use some smaller pieces. Cover up your masking tape there and just overlap the balloon in the cone with your paper mache because that's going to just make sure everything's nice and attached. Now we have the first side of the piñata done. And if you don't want to wait for it to dry and start working on the other side, uh, put a jar, a tall jar, and wait it. I've got a bunch of bolts and other things in the bottom of it here, a bunch of screws. And then that way it stands and you can start working on the other side and your um, front can start to dry. Now we have uh, three layers of the paper mache on and uh, it took about six hours for each layer to dry. And now that everything is dry, we're gonna cut the hole for the candy. And I'm taking an X-Acto knife and I'm gonna start right about here. Now it's time for what I think is the fun part, the decorating of the pinata. And what you're going to want to do is fold over a piece of the crepe paper about three inches along because that's going to give it some density and we're going to make fringe out of these three inch pieces with all the different colors so really easy you're just going to go along and make some cuts We're going to use just regular white craft glue and I'm going to put about a third of a cup into a bowl and then we're just going to add uh, a little drizzle of water. Take your paintbrush and just start mixing that in with the water and just create something that's a little bit easier to paint on. This is going to be used to put the uh, tissue paper on. We're going to start off with our first layer of colour. We are going to put a strip of glue right onto the paper mache and I'm going to start out with blue first and the fringe has got to come out on this side 
and we're going to let it overlap onto the party hat and put down your first piece. And then there is our last piece of the orange. You can see it start to come together. It looks really cool. Now we're just going to cover up um, the parts here between the cones, between the party hat and we're working a little backwards here, um, but I find it easiest to do it this way or else I don't get a, a good circle with the other colors. So this part's red, so we're just going to put some glue on and go in there with our red. So we are almost done and this uh, is the most exciting part for my kids anyway. So we're going to put the candy inside and it needs to be wrapped candy because likely you'll be outside and it'll be falling on the ground. So I've got uh, wrapped suckers, little candies, boxes of Smarties and little chocolate bars. And now before you close your hole up, you need to put a string through to hang the pinata. So I'm just using a skewer and putting it through the paper mache. And in your open area right here, uh, what I do is I take a piece of cardboard and duct tape it right on, and then you can cover it with your fringe. Very last step for the pinata, and this is optional, but I just took all the six colors of the crepe paper and uh, tied them together. And I'm just gonna staple them to the end of each of the cones, just so they hang down. And that's the finishing touch on the pinata. So there we go, all we have to do now is party test it.